Greetings all, it's the 16th of December 2015 and it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So, today I'm going to talk a little bit about bottle gourds. Now, those who have been viewing my channel for a while will uh, realise that I like to grow things that are a little bit unusual here in the UK. Now, in Indian, or Hindi, or whatever the language is, I believe the term for this is dudi. And Filipinos, they call this upa. I believe. But uh, in the UK we call them bottle gourds. Now these aren't historically grown here. Normally they're sort of grown you know in warmer climates but uh, you can indeed grow them. At least I've had some success in the southeast and they're similar sort of taste to a marrow one could say which is probably why most people who want to acquire a vegetable similar to this will grow a marrow or a courgette. Although there is a slight difference in the taste I believe these taste a little bit more earthy but uh, either way I was happy with my results. Now this here I picked about two months ago from the garden. Now, I grew these in different locations here on the premises. Some I grew in this polytunnel, and the ones in the polytunnel didn't really do that well. They went completely crazy, and the leaves were huge, and the foliage was absolutely enormous. But um, it seemed the extra heat seemed to just encourage foliage growth, and then the plant, and then the fruit that uh, subsequently formed on the plants rotted very quickly, and I didn't get any actual sort of edible gourds from here in the tunnel. But uh, this one, as I stated, I grew outside in the garden, and you can see that it was successful. And I also grew some in some tubs outside in the garden. I didn't um, protect them or anything. I didn't have them covered over. Of course, I uh, planted them out long after the risk of frost was passed. But uh, I'm very happy with the success, certainly for a first attempt. Now, one thing that's curious about these sorts of things is tribes have used these as water bottles. Now, my aim is to dry this, so I'm keeping it in the garage. You've got to keep these in a cool location and above all dry because you don't want to sort of festering sort of things going on. So you want to keep them dry and cool and a dry garage is perfect for this. So two months since I picked these, this, and you can see, you know, we've got a little bit of sort of mould coming on here. But nothing really here. I mean, these little sort of chips, if you want to call them that. I think that was where a slug was having a go at it when it was still on the plant. But um, no real signs of decomposition yet. So I'm going to see how long these take. And of course, I wish to save the seeds for the next year. Now, you can buy these if you want from like an Indian Asian shop or market, that sort of thing. Of course, they tend to be a bit bigger than this if they're grown in the ideal climate. But uh, you can indeed grow these here in the southeast if you just sort of try a little bit and use a lot of horse manure, calcified seaweed, good quality compost, and of course, plenty of water. But uh, I did find that slugs and snails really do love these. I mean, a few of them in the garden. I turned my back for a few nights and the slugs completely, you know, destroyed one of these. So they, obviously, we're not the only people that like these. So, drying these, people have made instruments from them, water bottles, and of course, um, I have been told that uh, my great-grandfather used to dry these or at least smaller ones and make some quite nice ornaments out of them. So, it's certainly a possibility and, um, worth having a go at. Now I hope everybody's looking forward to Christmas. It doesn't really feel like uh, Christmas is approaching here in the UK, well at least this part of the UK because it simply to me just does not feel warm enough. I mean I'm being told that um, someone was telling me that they've got a fruit tree that looks like it's got some blossom on it which I find is un unbelievable really. I've never heard of that in December and I I uploaded a video a few days ago with my blueberries and they are, um, you know, they're, they're flowering in, in December. Now, of course, this is not normal and I'm not particularly happy with it, but uh, I'm not going to complain about the colder weather. I just, sorry, the warmer weather. I just hope it won't affect anything next year. Okay, any questions, please let me know and um, we'll speak soon. Bye-bye.